uh, we, uh, I don't even remember where I left off. I think we were on the way home Thursday, so we made it home Thursday night. Me and my wife, we went and had a weekend out down in Atlanta, seen George Drake, Eric Church and stuff. So it's Sunday and we're wanting to leave out. Just kidding. There's nothing wrong. I just done my pre-trip stuff, but uh and these work lights up here. That one there, and you can see the other one over there. Didn't work. Uh, had power to switch, but nothing coming back to them. So we just rewired all that. And uh if you can see that or not now but they work we took care of that since time changed and it's gonna be hard for us to ever get to indiana before it gets dark now because we're usually fighting daylight before it got dark early so now we'll have some lights to work it'll be interesting to see how they light up and hopefully they do a good job so uh, like i said it is sunday we're getting ready to head down these are going to jacksonville we're going to deliver tomorrow so that's where we're at. So about to get on the road. I'll catch you guys in a little. I have the absolute worst look when it comes to traffic. So I'm like, oh, I'll leave Sunday afternoon. Traffic will be live. We won't have any problems. We can get down here. Traffic has been horrible all day. And now, as you can tell, I don't know, back there there was a sign that said incident ahead with the right lanes closed up here. I'm not sure what for, but as you can see, lovely, lovely traffic. Looks like construction and not an incident, even though the sign said incident. But one thing I didn't understand was back there, you know, a mile ahead, right lane closed. So merge into the left lane. And 10 cars to one, the right lane moved more than we did. And how is that even possible when the right lane is closed? Makes no sense. What it is, is everybody in the right lane runs up there and then jumps over in front of somebody in the left lane, slows down the right lane, but I mean, slows down the left lane, but opens that right lane up for more cars to come up and then they're getting over. So the lane that's closed is moving better than the lane that's open. Oh no, it is not construction. It's a wrecked semi truck. I can see the trailer there. Nothing, there was no cab on that. It was just a frame and a motor. I don't know where the cab was. Hmm. Hey guys. So we dropped those uh, two campers yesterday down in Jacksonville. Uh, just looking at some backhauls out of Jacksonville. Uh, the rates down in Florida and South Georgia down there are crap. We had cars from uh, Jacksonville to Indiana paying four and five hundred dollars, fourteen fifty cents a mile, which is ridiculous. So we drove home empty. I'm not, I'm not hauling their crap for the pennies. I know there's guys that do it, but I'll go home empty because cars pay better out from around my house in Indiana than they do from down there. So we came home empty last night, got up this morning, got on Central Dispatch, boom. Oak Ridge, which is right outside Knoxville, to just above Fort Wayne, Indiana, 700 bucks. Right at $1.60 miles. So miles. We snatched that up, and we're on our way there and pick it up right now. So, worked out good, you know, just waiting our time out, didn't take, didn't take crap. We're at, so we're going to pick this car up and I'll back at you guys. 
Hey guys. Dropped you there. So we're delivering this car. See my work lights are on there. Lighting it up good. I like that. But uh, this little forward escape, Knoxville, just outside Knoxville to uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana for uh, $700. So not bad when stuff out of Florida was only paying 400 bucks. So now we're gonna shoot up the Goshen. We were just taking a load back to Knoxville. I was gonna go camping this weekend, but the weather's supposed to be crap. The guys we were going with, or the people, the couple we were going with, they're sun sick, so they're not gonna make it. So I'm just gonna stay out and work a little longer. So we're grabbing another hot load down to Madonna, Georgia. And then we'll be back to get our Knoxville load. So I'll probably work through like Saturday and then do a reset. But uh, everything's put up on the car. I mean, on the truck. We'll lock this car, throw the keys in, and then we are headed to uh, Goshen. This was a COD he paid me when I picked it up. Gave me 700 cash. So, not bad. Key drop box. And we are out of here. Catch you guys a little while. What's up guys? So we're up here, we're gonna load up. What the hell? And my lights quit working. Uh, we're up here, we're gonna load up. We're gonna use our work lights, but I don't know if you guys can see. Trailers. These are all just hauling tow loads. As far as you can see down there. And then you come back down this side. These are just these are just flatbed loads. As far as you can see. Everywhere. I want you guys to see how my lights worked. I'll get back with you. Okay, no clue why it quit working, so. Yeah, I found them. It, it was an adventure, but I got them. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got mine right here. Thank you. One of the shuttle drivers wanted to know if I found my units, said somebody else was coming to get theirs. They hadn't staged them yet, so. That's how busy it is right now, but that's a good thing. So, well, I was hoping I'd have both my lights to work by, but only one's working. Still lights it up pretty good, so it'll give me enough light to at least see what's going on. So, I'm gonna work on getting these things loaded up, and I'll holler back at you. Hey guys, here at the uh, CarMax in Lexington. Picking up a Honda Civic going up to Fort Wayne, Indiana. So, I'll show you in the video where I had these lights fixed, working, and then this one quit working. They were all right, they weren't the brightest, but when they were working and you put a camper up here, they shined on the front of the camper. So once you loaded the first camper, it kind of took the lights away. Well, I added these. These I disconnected because, like I said, they weren't the greatest. So I added these. And they're on the side. So I'm hoping that even after I load the first camper, I still get some light to the back. So uh, when it gets dark, I'll, I'll flip those on and show you guys what they look like. But uh, we're going to grab this car. We're going to drop it in Fort Wayne. And then we're going over and loading up a couple that's going to new york outside rochester and we will deliver those tomorrow but uh i apologize for the lack of recording it's just not been a lot going on and just not been anything really to be recording so 
but uh, hopefully with this uh, bonus we got going on right now, you do 10 loads, you get $1,000 bonus between now and the 30th. So we're gonna work on that, see if we can't get us 10 loads in. So we might be going some different places than what we normally do to get those. So uh, stay tuned.